Welcome to the Unmastered Art of Baking. I'm Fran, student and baking enthusiast. Hello and welcome back to the Unmastered Art of Baking. Today we're making my white chocolate and raspberry cheesecake. This is a really, really delicious pudding, and for those of you who haven't given up chocolate for Lent, it's really great. So, for this recipe, you'll need 150 grams of butter, 400 grams of digestive biscuits, 300 millilitres of double cream, 350 grams of white chocolate, 250 grams of fromage frais, or you can use natural yoghurt, and some raspberries. You'll also need a medium sized saucepan, a round cake tin, and a large mixing bowl. We'll begin by making the biscuit base for our cheesecake. Melt your butter for about 40 seconds or longer if it needs it. And then, once that is melted, it's on to bashing up our biscuits. It's a really fun part of this. So, grab a heavy spoon or a spatula, or just use your hands and bash away. Once you've crumbed your biscuits so that it's about this texture, you can add your melted butter, stir it all in, and then we'll pat it into the base of our dish. Then, you can use either the back of your spoon or your hand to just press your mixture down into all the gaps. Then pop that into the fridge whilst you make your topping. Place your 300 millilitres of double cream into a saucepan and then we're going to put it onto the heat and bring it to the boil, stirring so that it doesn't stick. I can't guarantee that this is good for you because it just isn't. Once it's boiling, take it off the heat um, Leave to cool a tiny bit, and then we'll add our broken up to the chocolate. And then use the heat of the cream to melt your chocolate. Once all your chocolate's melted and your mixture's really smooth, we need to leave it to cool almost completely before we add our fromage spray. So what we'll do now is lay out the raspberries in the bottom of the cooled base. Now that your double cream and chocolate mixture is pretty much cool, you can add in the fromage frais and then all you need to do is pour this on top of the base of the raspberries and put it in the fridge to set for about two hours or longer if you have it but two hours is fine. Once your cheesecake's been in the fridge for over two hours you can just run a knife around the edges to release it. and then pop it on a plate.